Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we did was we compared uh, volume using different uh, units of measure. In other words, we took a look at uh, cubic centimeters and we took a look at milliliters. And we ran a little bit of an experiment and we, uh, and our understanding now is that the amount of milliliters is the same, same number as the amount of cubic centimeters. So in other words, in this particular problem here we have Johnny, he fills a container with 30 centimeter cubes. Um, now 30 centimeter cubes looks like this, 30 cubic centimeters. And what we discovered today was that uh, the amount of space 30, 30 cubic centimeters takes up is equal to 30 milliliters of liquid, which is amazing. Now this can be applied to a lot of uh, problems here because what they want us to do is shade the, the beaker here to show how much water the container will hold if it holds 30 cubic centimeters, which means that will also equal 30 milliliters. So I'm going to shade in that area right there. Okay. So this area in my beaker will hold not only 30 milliliters of liquid, but also 30 uh, centimeter uh, cubed. Okay. And that's what we discovered today. And it was a lot of fun. So beaker number two, I'm sorry, question number two, we have a beaker now that has 250 50 milliliters of water. Now it's, it is now our understanding that 250 milliliters of water is equivalent to 250 centimeter cubed. All right. So what I need to do is find the volume of each of these figures to find out which of these solids is going to hold 250 milliliters of water. How am I going to find that? Well, by finding out how many cubic centimeters each of these uh, contains. So in this guy here, I'm going to, let's find this particular slice. I'm going to do a 12 to by times 12 times 6. Volume is going to give me 144 times 6. And on the side, I can take my 144, multiply it by 6. I get a 24 here. I get a 24 plus 2 gives me 26 here. And 6 times 1 gives me 6 plus 2, 8. So this gives me 864 centimeters cubed, which does not equal 250 milliliters of water. So this does not work. Okay. Moving on, here they give us this slice here this section, this area, which is 20 centimeters squared. So that gives me that whole slice. So all, what I need to do is multiply that by tw 12 because that's how many of these areas I have. I have 12 of them. So that 20 times 12 is going to give me 24 with an extra zero, 24 centimeters cubed, which once again does not equal 250 milliliters. So this doesn't work either. Okay. Part C over here, this one is going to work because I'm going to take 25. I'm going to double it or multiply it by two. And then I'm going to multiply that product by five. This gives me 50 times five for a grand total of 250 centimeters cubed. And since uh, each cubic centimeter is equivalent to one milliliter. This also equals 250 milliliters. So that works. Okay. So if you want to do the other two, these are for you. You can take care of those. And uh, question number three as well. But that's the deal, folks. Cubic centimeters, milliliters, they're equivalent. And uh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.